everyone. I'm Dr. Neha Tanija, your educator for PSM on An Academy. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic, levels of prevention. This is very important considering all the examinations and one or two MCQs definitely turn up from this topic. So let us begin. Yeah. Now, as the name suggests, levels of prevention. So, obviously, we're going to have different levels of prevention. So, first, let us write down what are the names of these levels of prevention. So, the first one is primordial. Second one is primary. Next is secondary and one more tertiary okay so these are your four levels of prevention primordial primary secondary and tertiary now what are these levels of prevention primordial level of prevention is applied before the emergence of risk factors so let us first write this is before emergence of risk factors okay risk factors are not yet present that means you neither smoke neither drink all right next when is primary what is primary level of prevention so primary level of prevention is risk factor we'll be addressing it as rf okay so risk factor is present but disease has not started okay you are exposed to the risk factor but disease has not started means you drink you smoke but the pathogenesis has not yet started in your body what is secondary level of prevention? Disease has started, but it has not proceeded or not gone to a stage of irreversibility. Okay, that means disease has started, but complications have not yet occurred. That means here the disease is still reversible. We can still reverse it. All right. Then tertiary means disease has progressed to a stage of irreversibility. We cannot reverse it back. That means complications have already occurred. Okay. So tertiary level of prevention is disease has progressed to a stage of irreversibility meaning complications have occurred okay disease has progressed to a stage of irreversibility meaning complications have occurred all right this is the basic definition first one have a look again primordial level of prevention is before the emergence of risk factor you neither smoke Neither do you drink. You are not exposed to any risk factor. <clears throat> Primary level of prevention. Risk factor is present but disease has not yet started. That means you are smoking at the same time you are drinking. But no pathological change has started in your body. Secondary level of prevention is what? Uh, when disease has started in your body. Okay, It's in the early pathogenesis stage. It has started. But complications have not yet occurred. That means due to being exposed to risk factors, maybe now the person is developing hypertension. So changes pertaining to hypertension have started. Tertiary disease has progressed to a stage of irreversibility. Complications due to hypertension have occurred. 
that is tertiary level of prevention so the very first thing that you should be clear are with the definitions okay so here you can expect one mcq simple from the definition all right now how do you the second question to be addressed is that how do you achieve these levels of prevention so what are the modes of intervention that will help you achieve these levels of prevention so our next topic is what are the modes of intervention okay so next topic is what are the modes of intervention which will help us achieve these levels of prevention so the first one okay if you talk about primordial level <clears throat> in primordial level of prevention risk factors not present so how will you uh, achieve this level of prevention how will you make people not start drinking not start smoking how through educating people so what is the mode of intervention over here health education okay all right next primary level of prevention how will you achieve this primary level of prevention guys we are going to achieve this primary level of prevention through two modalities okay or through modes of intervention which is number one health promotion and specific protection okay we'll be addressing all points pertaining to health promotion and specific protection first let us write down the modes of intervention next one is secondary level of prevention so how are we going to achieve that secondary level of prevention that is being achieved through two modes of intervention which is early diagnosis okay and treatment okay early diagnosis and treatment and which is how will we achieve tertiary level of prevention so tertiary level of prevention is achieved through disability limitation and rehabilitation remember in tertiary level of prevention complications have occurred okay so what is the mode of intervention over here disability limitation and rehabilitation again one mcq from this topic they straight away ask that primordial level of prevention what is the mode of intervention okay so once again primordial no risk factors so how are you going to enable people not to start smoking and drinking through health education primary risk factor is present but disease has not yet started so you will be addressing those through through health promotion and specific protection next one secondary level disease has started but has not gone to a stage of irreversibility so that means complications are not yet present so that is early diagnosis and treatment and last one tertiary complications have occurred so it becomes disability limitation and rehabilitation okay now we're going to understand each one of this with the help of examples okay so first one yeah first one was primordial so primordial is by educating people all right next in primary we had a term known as health promotion okay so what do you mean by health promotion health promotion is actually a very important pyq okay a previous year question the definition is equally important in community medicine a lot of definitions sometimes turn up are uh, turn up in our examination like health promotion health education health communication we'll be seeing all of those definitions but as of now you have to remember what is health promotion so what is health promotion enabling people to lead a healthy life okay this is the definition of health promotion 
So you could be given this enabling people to lead a healthy life is health promotion, health education, health communication, something like that. So the answer to this is health promotion. Now what does this mean? Suppose I go to a community, okay, where I see that immunization coverage is very poor, all right? So I start educating the people that you should get your children vaccinated. They agree also, okay? But when they come to the health center to get their child vaccinated, they see that vaccines are not available or maybe the health staff has not been trained to put the vaccines, inject the vaccines. Or maybe the health staff is not courteous. They don't like their behavior. So all those things would again become a barrier which will prevent those parents from getting their children vaccinated. So when you're educating a community, you also have to ensure that there is a suitable environment provided to a suitable environment provided so that the people can go and achieve, go and take those services. Okay. So that is what is meaning of health promotion. All right. Enabling people to lead a healthy life. Now, in health promotion, every in health promotion, everybody, it includes, all right, health promotion can be achieved through health education. It can be achieved through environmental modification, through nutritional interventions, lifestyle and behavioral changes. All these four are example of health promotion, okay? Health education is also one way of achieving health promotion. Reinforce the same message each and every time. Make, provide safe water, provi uh, provide safe water supply and sanitation, environmental modification, which will promote the health in a general manner, okay? Nutritional interventions, okay? So all these are ways of achieving health promotion. Lifestyle and behavioral changes. Stop smoking, stop drinking, exercise daily, all right? All don't eat junk food. All these are ways of achieving lifestyle and behavioral behavioral changes. So they are all examples of health promotion. This is a direct PYQ guys. Health promotion examples include health education, environmental modification, nutritional interventions, lifestyle and behavioral changes. And health promotion is a part of primary level of prevention. They are, pro uh, they are promoting our health in general. Okay. Not specifically it's addressing one thing like environmental may if I ensure safe water supply and sanitation, it's going to protect us from a number of diseases, right? So that is why it's a general measure to promote good health.